All right, how's it going, everyone? Today, we're going to talk about Ghost of Tsushima. Ghost of Tsushima just got a... What would you call it? A, a new up... A next-gen upgrade? I would say so. It's a next-gen upgrade. It got a next-gen upgrade, and um, we have to talk about it. Because this is something that I didn't see coming. You know, initially, back when the PS5 came out, Sucker Punch pretty much just unlocked the frame rate and made it at 60 on the PS5, and that was pretty much all we got. And while it was a pretty decent up upgrade it really wasn't what i wanted but now they've gone above and beyond they've given us the director's cut now the director's cut of ghost of tsushima basically just includes everything i wanted from the start for a next gen upgrade for this game and i really hope that more first party studios from playstation get the same treatment such as the last of us part 2 i wouldn't mind it for god of war although i pretty sure we wouldn't see that but the last of us part two for me is the real heavy hitter and i pray to god this gets the exact same treatment we know death stranding is as well and i can't wait for that but let's go ahead and talk about ghost of tsushima i got the second monitor pulled up right here i'm going to talk about the key points because um this includes a lot and it just needs to be discussed right now okay so this and all of this information just dropped today okay so uh, Jen's journey continues on Iki Island. I'm pretty sure I just butchered that, but you know, we'll just go along with it. A neighboring island to Tsushima, discover a whole new story for Jin, plus new armor, mini games, enemy types, and more. Now, this is cool because we're literally getting a DLC expansion to the game. That's new content, just in general. We're getting new armor, which I thought all the armor in the game looked amazing anyways. Now, I mean, we're just getting more, so that's a W. Uh, mini games. I don't think the game had any mini games to begin with, so the fact that we're getting mini games, I think this is cool. Um, I really don't know where they're gonna go with this, but again, wherever they take us, I'm I'm just interested to see what they're gonna do. Um, we're also getting new enemy types, and I thought the enemy types were already good in the base game. They were a really good variety, and the fact that we needed like four different stances for them, I thought was cool. So whatever they do here, I'm also all in for. And like it says, and more. So we're gonna have to wait and see. Um, another key point is the PS5 version of Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut includes new features like Japanese lip sync, haptic feedback, and adaptive triggers, 3D audio, 4K resolution options, and frame rate targeting 60 frames per second. Now, the Japanese lip sync, let's talk about that. That was one of the coolest things for me when this game got announced and they talked about how there are Japanese dubbed voices and all that. I was like, oh, this is going to be really cool. It's going to give it a really authentic feeling. Well, the only problem with that is while it is cool, it's not synced in the slightest. And you can clearly see that it's not. And that really bugged me. And I immediately went the English dubbed route. And I mean, even the English dub is fantastic. So I didn't I felt like I didn't really lose anything as far as my experience went. But the fact that they fixed that massive w i cannot wait to go through this game for the third time and uh and hear this game in japanese it's going to be amazing uh haptic feedback and adaptive triggers now for those of you who don't know um the dual sense for me is the greatest controller i've ever used in my entire gaming life it's amazing uh from the adaptive triggers to the uh to way when it when it's utilized correctly in certain games, it's amazing. It truly is. I mean, one good example is Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Another good example is Demon Souls. Another one is Returnal. When games can fully utilize the adaptive triggers the way that they're meant to be used, I feel like it adds a level of tension and a level of immersion to your games that was never there before. And the fact that we get a, uh, adaptive eh, adaptive triggers and haptic feedback, it's going to be really cool when the swords clash and then you have the adaptive triggers with the bow. It's gonna be it's gonna be dope. I really can't wait to see how that feels. Um, and there's other games that have utilized it very well that aren't even first party studios. So the fact that Sucker Punch gets you know uh, gets a crack at it, it's gonna be really nice. Uh, 3D audio that is awesome. Not something I expected, but it is awesome to see. Uh, I can't wait to see what they do with that. A lot of games have used 3D audio, but I don't think there's ever really been a game that's impressed me to the point where I was like, oh my god, this is the best thing I've ever heard. I mean, like I said, Demon Souls did a good job. Um, Ratchet and Clank also is really, they did a good job with um, uh, 3D audio, you know, the guys over there at uh, Insomniac Games, but 3D audio has never really been a massive selling point, but it is nice to have, and I'll just wait and see what it's like for Ghost of Tsushima. Hopefully, there's like a really big difference. Uh, 4K resolution options, which isn't anything new, and frame rates target 60 fps of course 60 fps at this point is just the standard and i'm glad that that's there and i'm glad that they're giving us options i'm assuming there's going to be probably two or three modes there's going to be just a 4k mode that's you know the full native 4k resolution at 
30 frames per second and then there's going to probably be a dynamic 4k with 60 frames per second uh, yeah 60 frames per second as the uh performance option so that's really cool to see and i mean also one other thing to note the game is oh where is it at hold on uh, yes, okay, Sucker Punch is also going to release a new update for Ghost of, Tsushima, Ghost of Tsushima soon. That includes new photo mode updates, new accessibility options for controller remapping, option to turn on lock on during combat, option to hide quiver during gameplay. Now the hide quiver during gameplay, that has been something I've seen everyone talk about. That's something a lot of people have wanted. Me, I don't really care, but I'm glad that that's there. Um, hey, that actually rhymed. <laughs> Option to turn on lock on during combat. That was something that I felt the game needed at launch, but I kind of just got I got over it. I felt like I just had to, you know, learn to adapt and just kind of, you know, learn to live without that kind of thing, you know. So the fact that that's there, I can't wait to see what that's going to be like. And the option for, you know, controller remapping. I don't really know if I'm going to use that, but we'll have to wait and see. And the new photo mode updates. I mean. If you know me, you know I love my photo modes in my games, and I'm all for this. So, this is this is all amazing. I mean, I am so happy that we're getting this. I truly am. And one last thing I want to talk about before I go ahead and forget. Um, it also says right here, if you already own Ghost of Tsushima on PS4, you can, you can pre-order an upgrade to Director's Cut on PS4 for $20. This upgrade will become available starting on August 20th. Starting on August 20th, if you bought the Director's Cut PS4, you'll be able to upgrade Director's Cut PS5 at any time for $9.99. You can also upgrade directly from... Uh, upgrade directly from original Ghost of Tsushima PS4 to Director's Cut on PS5 for $30. Now... I've been seeing a lot of people get upset about this, and I really don't know why. I feel like this is just a steal for us. I mean, I don't really see the reason to be upset. It's an extra $30 if you already own the game and have it on PS5. It's just a win-win for me. I mean, I love the base game. They're giving us a whole new expansion. We're getting a new island. We're getting new enemy types. We're getting new armor. I mean, it, 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 to me, this game was my favorite game of the last generation. It really was. It was amazing. I've always wanted an open world samurai game and we finally got it. And this game delivered in spades in every way, shape and form. And the fact that we're getting just an enhanced version with more features, more accessibility options, you just you don't lose it's a win-win everybody is winning here this is great and i mean for me 30 dollars is not a problem i'll go so far as to simp and say i'll pay 70 because i love this game just that much i'll happily buy it again and now that we're getting actual support for the dual sense i mean like i said i've already played through this game twice i'll happily play through it again for a third and fourth time i mean this game just it delivered in spades it's literally a 10 out of 10 game and I'm, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. another opportunity to jump into this game again for the low price of $30. Why not? For me, just why not? So Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut. This is looking like a day one buy for me. And August is looking like a really good month. I now have Ghost of Tsushima. I have Psychonauts 2. And now I also have Kenna Bridge of Spirits. And also there's Hades coming to Game Pass. I'm going to check that out as well. But it's looking like a really good month for... Um, it's looking like a good month for games in general in August. So August is looking dope. Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut, what do you think about it? Let's talk about it in the comment section below. Do you have a PS5? Do you not have a PS5? Do you like Ghost of Tsushima? Did you not like Ghost of Tsushima? Let's talk about it in the comment section below. So thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to share the video on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever you use. And I'll catch you all in the next video. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, have a great day.